Okay, so we got Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> we got Kendrick Lamar over here. Another le young legend. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, excuse me, I just woke up. He got his first studio album, Good Kid, Mad City. Uh, this is a legendary album right here. So we got features from Jay-Z, Drake, <laughs> J-Rock, Pharrell, Schoolboy Q. The label made and a wise Dr. Dre who discovered him. And Mary J. Blige. Um, him and him and Drake are allegedly at odds with each other for whatever reason. I, I think it's just because of ego. Uh, this is the only song they've ever done together. They had a falling out because uh, Kendrick Lamar showed up on Drake's album. And then Drake showed up on Kendrick Lamar's album, and then they just had a falling out. I don't even know what the fuck happened. <clears throat> we got the next one, The Pimp a Butterfly. A lot of people say that this album is very boring. They didn't like this album. So we got um y'all gotta excuse me again, I'm I'm just waking up. So we got um This is a very I like this album. I don't and I know I say this with every every album. I think I just like any 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 type of music that hits me that doesn't sound incredibly horrible. I just like it. I just I'm a I'm a music person. But um, we got features from Snoop Dogg, SZA, Bilal, Rhapsody. This is a good album. I can understand why people say it's boring. I can definitely understand that. The song, the, the, the single on here is alright. In these walls. This is this is like a black empowerment album right here. You got songs like King King Kunta, Black of the Berry. You ain't gotta lie, that's my favorite, that's my joint right there, boy. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm playing that shit. Um I, I like I this is a good album. Like I don't understand. I mean, I, I get it. It's not you're not turning up. You know what I mean? There's no turn up. There's no. There's no um, party drink and then do drugs and. You know, but it's still a good album. I, I just. It, that tells you a lot about how, how people are nowadays. Just in this world. Uh, so we got his his last album to date. Damn. Damn. Okay, so what happened was um, Kendrick Lamar jumped on uh, Big Sean's song "Control." Everybody's saying uh, Kendrick Lamar killed him, which I think is completely unjust. I, com I think it's I think it's completely unfair. I think it's completely unfair, and here's why: because Big Sean was setting up a song, and I think this is the same thing that happened to Wale and J Cole. And this isn't about the artists because the artists aren't planning to kill each other; they're actually, they're actually friends. But this shows again how so centered and dumbed down and ridiculous people have gotten. Everybody's so childish. 
with women taking a forefront and um, choosing what's easy and they mate with the men that are easy, you create a bunch of men that aren't really there in the brain and the head. You know what I mean? And, you know, you're wondering to yourself, like, why is it so hard to maintain yourself in the, in the industry and, and this and this and that? Because a lot of these people, brains ain't really that bright. Because you're pushing the women to the forefront. And there's nothing wrong with women. Don't get me wrong. But you push them to the forefront. And women tend to choose men that are easy to get for them. They never choose the best guy. It's too hard for them. You know. And that's generally speaking. I don't want to offend anybody. I told myself I was not going to talk about women. But um. And this is this doesn't go for every woman. Any woman that gets offended by this, you're that type of woman. You know, so back to the Big Sean and Kendrick Lamar situation. Um, I know I always go into random shit, but it's like I don't have any script for this. I just keep going. But um, they said, yeah, they said Kendrick Lamar killed you on your own song and this and this and that. It's, it's a song. If I'm putting an artist, if I'm a rapper, I'm putting an artist on a song. At the end of the song, the last verse is always supposed to be the best verse. To say that that person killed that person's career, it's almost unfair because it's set up as a song. It's not set up as a, this is me, I'm, I'm going against this guy on a song. If it was set up that way, that'd be cool. But it's just, it's unjust to say that Kendrick Lamar completely killed Big Sean. And to put this narrative, and to keep putting this narrative, because he's more, because Kendrick Lamar is more aggressive. Just because you're more aggressive does not mean you're better. It's actually the person that remains calm that's actually better. But again, back to the situation that I said. When you push women to the forefront... They pick and choose who they want to mate with. And you got to remember, they mate with that person and they create kids and they have the personality. So you're promoting this music to a bunch of people that minds aren't right. Like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, things were different because the rules of society were different. But nowadays it's just, it's just like, I look at people all the time in certain situations, whether it's a man or a woman, and I think to myself, why the fuck would you do that? You know, and the truth of the matter is, people have been raised petty because of the, the poor decisions, not just of women, but of the entire society. Everybody's making poor decisions. Everybody. And... Kendrick Lamar ended up making this damn album. Because Big Sean had to diss him. Because a bunch of dumbass niggas kept saying, Kendrick Lamar killed you, Kendrick Lamar killed you. Even Charlemagne, Kendrick Lamar killed you. Kendrick Lamar washed you. It's a song. Big Sean explained it. He put the song, he put the song out there. He put Kendrick on it. Kendrick came in at the end. That's unfair because Big Sean put his verse in first. That means Kendrick Lamar had a chance to actually listen to it. As far as I know. And then decide to kill to kill Big Sean. And then you guys ran with the fact that Kendrick Lamar killed Big Sean. Now imagine if Kendrick Lamar did the same thing. He set up a song. Big Sean's like, you know what? I'm going to kill him. And then Kendrick Lamar constantly has to hear Oh, Big Sean killed you. Big Sean killed you. And Big Sean was, again, a, a man of respect, following the fucking rules of morals. He's a man He's a man of morals. He didn't put a second verse. He could have easily put a second verse after Kendrick Lamar, but he decided not to. He's like, you know what? I'm cool. And then you dumbasses, Charlemagne, like, ugh, God. 
I seen this podcast, see, and I always go off subject, but I gotta mention this. I seen this podcast with Charlemagne the God saying, talking about women and, and, and women being aggressive and this and this and that, and and um, he got to the point where he was saying, he said he he this this insecure motherfucker was talking about. He he went into his girl's diary. This nigga went into his girl's diary <laughs> and saw that she put Charlemagne because she had slept with all these other guys and she had it written it down and they had the the, the 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 sizes of their penises, their names, and then the sizes of their penises. And this motherfucker seen that she put small and got really insecure. You see what I mean? These are the type of guys that you're breeding. These, like, just, just, think, think, reminisce on that. Reminisce on what I just said for a second. Reminisce on it. Really, reminisce on what the fuck I just said for a second. You know, and you got these MGTOW videos. I do watch MGTOW videos sometimes. And you got all this craziness happening. And people are thinking it's happening randomly. Again, the, the like, it's just, it's a bunch of chaos, and I'm looking, and I'm seeing the actions that men or women, men and women are doing, and it's just, it's, it's sad, it's, it's really sad, man, but really reminisce on what the fuck I just said about Charlemagne, really reminisce on that shit, this nigga said, he got insecure, and he, he's on a podcast, you can go to his channel and see this shit. I'm not revealing anything crazy. And then he had his cousin. He had his little cousin. He had one of his cousins over there. And they were talking about sex and shit. And... <laughs> you see that? I, 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 I'm looking and I'm like. A woman. A woman really chose. A woman really chose this nigga. Really chose this nigga. I had a couple co-workers. I'm looking. I'm like, a woman really chose this nigga. Really think about that for a second. A woman really chose this nigga. I'm out here. I'm, I'm out here. I'm single. But this nigga is corny as fuck. <laughs> And this is not just one nigga. It's more than it's more than 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 one nigga. It's like most of these bitches either chose choose. They just choose. It's just like it just seemed like women choose losers. Like the niggas that's been in jail or prison, you know what I mean? It, it's it's like. It's like women choose losers so they can feel better about themselves and, and, and improve on themselves. And I, that's what I'm that's what I'm peeping game on. They're choosing the losers. They don't want to have to play second seat to a man. They don't. So they choose these losers, make them think that they're winners, and it creates it's like it's like it's creating this society. And I'm saying generally speaking. It's like it's creating this society where nobody can really function correctly, and I and that's and that's definitely why. And it creates situations like, damn, you know, people saying, "Oh, J. Cole killed you. You never coming back." Why are you so, like? It's a song. He put him at the end of the song. He's supposed to murder. He's supposed to. Kill the end of the song. Jay Z, Eminem, Renegade. He put him at the end of the song. I want the nigga that comes after me to do better. Don't sit here and try to destroy my career. Like, come on, man. It's shit like this that just. And I, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear the frustration in my voice. And so, Kendrick Lamar ran, went on his rant. And, um, I don't even think this album is really dissing Big Sean. Big Sean has become the target. But, um, Kendrick Lamar released Damn. 
blew everybody out the water. He was dissing everybody. He's basically challenging everybody. On a control song, he set it up. He's challenging everybody. And then he put this damn album out. He let everybody else be the, the judge of what's going on. I don't think this album was directed at Big Sean. I think it was directed at everybody. He's daring you guys to come at him. He's daring you guys. He's daring you guys. Man, I told myself I was gonna talk about women, but fuck. We just gonna release this shit. Um So let's see what the features are. So we got YouTube, the band YouTube, Steve Lacey. Steve Lacey got an album out by the way. Y'all need to promote that shit. Um Rihanna. And see, and I think that was another subtle jab. Subtle jab. That was another subtle jab. Mainly, I think mainly at Drake. Everything's a subtle jab. I think uh, parts of Elements is jabs at uh, Big Sean. Um, well, no, Big Sean became a poster child. So, I, I, I just think this whole album is coming at anybody. I also noticed he has no other rappers on here. So, and that's about it for Kendrick Lamar. See, if I didn't go on that rant, this video would have been incredibly short. And women, I still love y'all. But god damn. God damn. Y'all gonna have to get y'all shit together. <laughs> y'all gonna have to get y'all shit together. Y'all gonna have to get y'all shit together. No. I don't, it don't it don't bother me. I just know the universe has a way of working. But let me get out here before I start ranting about shit that has nothing to do with Kendrick Lamar. Anyway, peace.